Yo, what's up guys, welcome to Gabriel Bass Fishing. Today I'm going onto Laurel Lake with my kayak and my buddy Will. So I'm gonna try some uh, flipping and pitching. I got my bait caster right here. And uh, I'm just gonna rig up my my rig. So uh, took a trip to Dick Sporting Goods, bought some stuff. I'm gonna rig it up, switch everything back into my kayak, uh, wait for Will, and then head on out. So I've got a bunch of Ziploc bags over here. Gallon size Ziploc bags. And what I'm gonna do so I don't get everything, you know, just flying around the boat with the yak. Take all my creature type baits and I stick them in one Ziploc bag. This way, they're not all over the kayak. They're all in one spot. I'm gonna label it. Creature baits. Got all my worm type baits. My Senko's in here too. All right, so Will got here, and uh, we're gonna head out right now. So I'll let you guys see Will later. Hey, Will, welcome to Get Real Bass Fishing. What's up? Oh, they're gonna see me eat my lunch. Yeah, they're gonna see you eat your lunch. I ate some turkey, he ate some, and I ate some cheese. Now he's got something. I got some uh, spicy food. So yeah, this this is Will. What's up, everybody? We've been friends since birth, pretty much. Might as well, right? Might as well have been. All right, we're gonna head out. I got two yaks in my bed. This is gonna be interesting. A yak, a little. <laughs> <laughs> but it was drizzling before. Not doing anything anymore. Oh, I'm a poet. But we're heading out to Laurel Lake, just past Riverhead here on Long Island. I'm gonna do that. I'll get the camera if it starts sliding across. Look at that, that that's some perfection right there. Yeah, it looks beautiful. All it needs is tomatoes and lettuce. And some peppers. Tomatoes and lettuce? Nah, just cheese. So we gotta take it slow. Never transported two yaks before. Wet pavement, leaves all over the place. I don't wanna die, I'd rather catch a five pounder first. And then we could die. Then I can die happy. Yeah. That'd be a good way to go. Yeah, it would. Put your five pounder? Like if a five pounder just hit you in the face, like. <gasps> Bam! No! And then you're dead, that's. We could go to Louisiana and that could happen with a flying carp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Magic carps. We can go down to Lake El Salto, catch five pounders every cast. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would. We're gonna have to do it. It's only like $7,000. Oh, snap. We're going 40 miles an hour and the yaks are dragging. And by dragging, I mean catching wind. It's like a power feed. Yeah, so we're gonna have to take it super slow. All right, what's up, guys? It is 1.25. We just arrived at Laurel Lake. It took us like 45 minutes to get here. We had to keep it slow, the yak. One of the yaks lifted up, so uh, it was wobbling my truck. I didn't want anything bad to happen, so we took it slow. Um, it started to drizzle a little bit, but not too long. But we're here, we're gonna go catch some fish, so the next footage you see will hopefully be big bass. All right, oh, yeah. let's go. Get out. All right, so I just caught this bass. Fishing the edges of Laurel with a Mepsaglia number three chartreuse. 
we didn't get the GoPro footage because we really weren't expecting any fish. We haven't caught anything all day. But uh, I got this nice butte. Very beautiful. Alright, so we're going to release this beautiful, beautiful largemouth. Look at the colors on that. We're going to release him. Bye, little fella. Grow up big. Alright, folks. Just got another one right here. Come on, focus. Yep. Let me unhook him. Do it, I've done it. Alright. That was my other small largemouth. Second cast, immediate back to back fish. There we go. Times. Got another chain pickerel here at Laurel on a uh, Meps Aglia number three chartreuse. Loaded right now with pickerel as well. Hasn't got a thing yet. But I'm using my uh, Shimano Celis six foot eight medium fast action, 15 pound braid, my quantum blue size 20, and this is, this is where we're fishing right now. Fish jumping all over, what is it like 330? Let's see, oh, it's 352. Shout out to whoever just liked my Instagram, because you're going to be in this video now. But uh, we're going to continue to catch fish. Well, you didn't want to touch it anyway, right? Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I got another one. Once again, the release of a pickerel. Here we go. All right. What's up, guys? We just packed up the truck from Laurel. Uh, I managed to catch a lot of fish, as you guys can see. Will had one fish, but it got off before we can get the video on. Um, but uh, backs are killing us really bad. Like, now it's in my upper back, Well, uh, Like I was saying, yeah, it's crazy. now it's in my lower back. <laughs> <laughs> yep, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Um, what else do we have? Pinterest and all that stuff? Nah, not Pinterest. Um, no. Nah. What's that another what that one? Is. Periscope. Yeah, we're on there. Watch out for some live stuff. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because a lot of stuff is going to be happening with Get Real Bass Fishing in the upcoming weeks, months, and uh, all that. So we're gonna go head out to dinner, and you might see a video of that before this video, but, uh, or maybe after, I don't know. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys, stay real. Stay real. Pow.